time management and time diary, why a time diary is so important uh, when you want to save time and become a master of time management. Hi, my name is Slavika Bogdanov. If you don't already know me, I'm a, a best-selling author. I'm also a coach, professional and personal, and I am a film producer with an upcoming slate of amazing feature films. So what is a time diary and why is it so important to have one uh, if you want to save time and uh, become a master of your time? I'm personally kind of obsessed. I'm OCD on time management um, and I've studied time management for a decade now, if not more. Uh, to know more on how I can save time, how I can improve my um, my my uh, my use of of my seconds, my daily seconds, and how I can do more in less time. So I've been studying everything that has to do with uh, with molding time, uh, with uh, with with warping time to our needs, and I I. I'm pretty proud of my accomplishments because I feel like I'm doing much more than the average uh, Joe in terms of uh, saving time and doing more. And why do we want to do more? Because I love doing nothing. So I feel that if I do more um, in my day, then I have more uh, free time on my hands on top of having done more. So I feel even better about my accomplishment, better about myself. And I don't have any guilt of doing nothing for two, three, four hours every day because I have done more um, than even sometimes I had planned. Sometimes I even I even munch on my to-do list for the next day in the day that I'm, I'm in. So, and I've, I feel I've accomplished a lot uh, since the last 15 years uh, in publishing 40 books, having five bestsellers, traveling around the world, uh, helping thousands of people worldwide, uh, building uh, a community, uh, having, of course, um, a ton of followers and fans, um, and, um, and launching, I, I think so far I've launched somewhere around 20 or 30 audio and video products, notwithstanding the 20 plus screenplays that I've written and my career as a film producer that I've, I started a few years back. So I use a time diary whenever I feel that I am not uh, using my time properly when I, when I feel that I'm, I'm slipping. And so immediately I go back to my time diary and that puts me back on track immediately. So what is a time diary? It's basically you have your, uh, I, I use my phone. So you can use your phone, you can use a stopwatch. Uh, it's, it's very tedious, it's very annoying at first to do, but you do it probably a week or two without judgment, without really thinking about what you're doing. This is just a way of knowing how you spend your time. Why? It's been known that you probably, like a majority of people, waste about 80% of your time. So out of the 16 hours that you have a awake time, well, you only are a very efficient probably uh, to 20% of that. So that's really nothing. And the rest of the day, well, you uh, do nothing that will serve you on the long term, that will serve your goals, that will serve your success. And we're not only speaking about business goals, about money, finances, we're also speaking about health goals, about relationship goals, etc., etc. So what is a time diary? So you will use your, uh, your, your, uh, either your, your phone or, or stopwatch and you meticulously write everything you're doing throughout the day and how long it took you to do what you do. So for example, you woke up, what time did you wake up? You took a shower, how long did it take you? What did you do? How long every action took you, right? If you want to go crazy, you can really like detail and I'll explain why it's, it can be important depending on how obsessed you are with time. I'm, I'm really obsessed, but at the same time I spend, 
you know, three, four hours often doing nothing. I, I take one full day off of the week uh, just to pray, meditate, relax, enjoy the day. And the rest of the week, well, I, I feel like I have a lot more time on my hands than a lot of people. And I'm never running after time. I, I always get enough time to do whatever I want. But I've become really, really obsessed on procedures and planning and how to do things in a certain sequence so that no time is wasted. For example, if you wake up, and I'll be really uh, a, a bit obsessive compulsive here, OCD, but it's just to prove a point. Let's say you wake up and you walk, 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 walk to the kitchen, you take a glass of water, walk, 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 walk back, you go take a shower, you have to walk again five minutes back and forth, back and forth. Well, you lose a lot of time in those, in those in those movements where you could do things in a certain procedure and gain a lot of time and all these little minutes well they accumulate to hours and hours and hours of free time or time to do other things so or if you spend let's say 10 minutes on facebook well you write down 10 minutes here 10 minutes there and you'll figure out that at the end of the day you might have spent three hours on facebook that you could have done something else with that time instead of wasting it clicking on likes on cats and dogs uh, videos right so that's a time diary a time diary allows you to really gain consciousness of where your time flies it's 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 exactly the same process you can use if you want to save money or if you want to lose weight if you want to save money well you do a money diary meaning that all day long you will you will write down everywhere where you spend a penny and where you gain the penny if you find a penny on the street you'll say plus one if you you know if you spend five bucks for a coffee well five bucks for a coffee same thing with uh, dieting if you want to lose weight where well, you can use it as a as a way of figuring out everything you eat during the day and all your physical activities during the day it's a way to bring all your faults back into consciousness because 90 80 or 90 percent of what we do is done automatically subconsciously we don't even think about it those are all old habit repetitive habits that brings you to us to the state where we're in if you don't like the state you're in well you need to change your habits you can't go on uh, doing what you do expecting result new results right this is madness it's called madness so uh, in order to change your habits you actually need to bring them back into consciousness and a time diary that's what it does it brings back those habits into reality into consciousness so you write down everything you do throughout the day and you do this for a week or two weeks without changing anything at first. The first is really observing. Observing so you can analyze where are the faults and where are the things that you can change. And also to see if there's a pattern, if there's a fluctuation depending on the day of the week. Because we're not at our best all, all day, every day, and all every day of the week. So you can see which days you're stronger which days you you're you're lacking so you can readjust and know more how to 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 create a, a working plan in order to change those habits also it will allow you to compound to bring together the actions that you do mechanically all over the place that you could bring and do them all together let's say if you do five phone calls during the day but you do them at separate times of the day well it's it's a waste of time not to do them consecutively and i'll make a video on that it's called the um, the law the, the the law of of the of the learning curve with the learning curve is a real curve it's a real learning curve and there's a law of the learning curve that by repeating the same uh, the same um, action one after the other well you gain enormous time in doing that so uh, and if you don't well you you waste in the learning curve every time so the um, diary will help you really realize where your flaws are where your faults are and where you can actually adjust save time remove things that are useless and replace them with new habits I could write a book about 
how to create new habits. I'll make a bunch of videos on habits, but one of the things you do in order to change a bad habit is to replace it with a good habit. And eventually, well, that gets anchored into your behavior and it becomes, again, a conditioned action, something that you don't even think about, something that comes up uh, subconsciously, a habit that comes naturally within the day. And slowly but surely, you will bring the, your your time management back to a level where you are more productive, you do things better, and you gain a lot more time and you can do nothing more often, which I hope I wish you. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please click like, please comment, uh, share, subscribe. And of course, if you need coaching, let me know. Um, I do take clients from time to time. So if it's your case, I'll be happy to help you manage your time and, um, and get to where you want to go much faster at lightning speed. Thanks. Have a great day.